It's not very often that I come across a super powerful gaming computer for under $500, but today I have. Today I'm gonna to tell you my thoughts on this MSI GF63 thin laptop and whether or not it'd be a good choice for your needs. Let's get into it. So a friend of mine found this computer for his daughter who's going off to college. She needed a powerful and durable computer that could not only handle her schoolwork, but also her digital art hobby that she has on the side. She's a medium level gamer. She likes to do social media and YouTube, and she also watches movies and listens to music. My buddy found this computer for her for under $500 and asked me to set it up for her and check it out. I was so impressed, had to make a video about it. So first of all, it's got an 11th gen 6 core i5 processor. Now I know that's not the latest and greatest when it comes to gaming. If you're entry level to mid level gamer, this little laptop's performance is gonna surprise you. Here's the physical specs that you need to know. It's got a headphone and mic in jack on the side, along with three USB 3.2 super speed ports. It's got one USB 3.2 type C connector. It's got an RJ45 ethernet port, and it has an HDMI port on the back of the laptop. The video chipset is NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 1650 with four gigabytes of onboard VRAM. It's got a good 15.6 inch screen for plenty of visibility. It comes standard with eight gigabytes of RAM, but it is upgradable to 64 gigabytes, which is insane. Now that eight gigabytes doesn't seem like a lot, but I'm gonna tell you what, that 11th gen i5 really does use it very efficiently. In other words, it's plenty fast. Storage includes a 256 gigabyte NVMe PCI Express SSD drive for super fast file access, and it runs a Windows 11 operating system. Overall, I am super impressed with this little laptop. So much so, I'm actually considering buying one for myself. Click the link in the pinned comment below to go to Walmart and check it out for yourself. Here's my pros and cons on the MSI GF63 laptop. Now the pros are it has a super powerful video chip. It's got the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 chipset, which just from my gameplay seemed like it was more than enough to handle what I needed. Plus it has the onboard four gigs of memory, which is great. It's fast pretty powerful and it's affordable. It's MSI, so you know it's gonna be quality because MSI is known for gaming quality. It comes with Windows 11 standard, so you're not gonna to have to upgrade anytime soon. So it does have the 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD drive, which is great because it's lightning fast, no moving parts. It's got a really good size 15.6 inch screen, which is pretty much the standard nowadays. And for some reason, this is one of my favorite features. It actually has the HDMI port on the back, so it's not interfering with your other cables and plugs and all that stuff. You just plug it right into the the back and whether you use it for outputting to a TV or whatever it really stays out of the way I actually think that's pretty classy this thing is built for gaming but just because it's a gaming computer doesn't mean it can't also be really useful for you as a work machine or a school machine the best part I like about it is that because it's durable and powerful, you can use it for work or school. And at the end of the day, when you want to relax a little bit, you can game on it and it's going to do everything you need it to do. Okay, so here's the cons, but they're really not that bad. First of all, it's got an i5 processor versus an i7 or an i9. Now, once you start getting into those higher end processes, you're going to triple or quadruple your price. For $500, you're not gonna find anything better with an i5 processor. This thing's pretty awesome. But if that's important to you, just be aware of that. If you're a high-end gamer, you're gonna want an i7 or an i9. But for the vast majority of people who play games, this i5 is gonna be plenty. Now, the screen is not a touch screen. For me, that's actually a pro versus a con because I hate fingerprints. But if a touch screen's important to you, this is not the laptop for you. There are other MSI laptops that are touch screen. To me, it's not the end of the world. The other thing is that this is 1080p maximum resolution versus 4K. Now, if you want 4K versus 1080p, you can still get an MSI gaming laptop, but they're gonna be much more expensive. This is really built for someone who is either a beginner or intermediate and wants to have a good quality machine or in my buddy's example, has a kid going off to school. This is really a great machine for that. So it does have eight gigabytes of RAM. By today's standards, isn't really a lot, but it's upgradable to 64 gig, which is more than anyone will ever need for a computer. The 256 gig drive, it is a little bit on the smaller side as far as SSD goes, but just like the memory, it can be upgraded to any size SSD, no problem. So it is very thin and it's surprisingly heavy for such a thin laptop, but part of the reason for that is because of the quality that's built into MSI. I wouldn't worry too much about it, as you can see. It's 4.1 pounds, it's not terribly heavy. So I hope this video was helpful for you, but there's four things that you need to know before you buy any computer. Click this video right here and I'm gonna walk you through them. It's gonna save you a ton of money.